national press. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight, analysis. Joining us from Charlottesville, Larry Sabato, director of the University of Virginia Center for Politics. And here in the studio, Democratic pollster, Margie O'Mara. Many important swing states uh, favor traditional marriage. As I said, North Carolina, I can imagine the president winning there now. What say you? Well, I think there are three important things to look at when you're looking at polling in swing states or anywhere else. The first is when is the data point from? Is it from a couple years ago, or 2006? How about yesterday? Well, <laughs> uh, let me get to it. In North Carolina, come on, it's 61%. Well, I'll, get, I'll get, jump right to the third thing. The third thing is, is it a vote driver for the presidential election, right? And that's where I think there's a, uh, you'll see the folks on either side already coming to the polls. They've made up their mind, the strong folks pro-gay marriage and against gay marriage. Yeah, that, that's but right. But, but you know, Ms. O'Mara, you know the independents are going to decide. Plus, there's enough is enough uh, syndrome. And there are some people who just don't know who to choose. They don't like either President Obama or Mitt Romney. But then there comes a point where enough's enough, and this could tilt it over. Dr. Sabato, here's what I don't understand, politically speaking. President Obama's not going to get one vote by coming out in favor of gay marriage, not one. That all liberal people were going to vote for him anyway. He's raising more money. Now, if it were a money play, maybe that, that is something to consider. Certainly, he raised, uh, when he came out, more than a million dollars in less than 24 hours or whatever it may be. But he, he, as I, you know, Ms. O'Mara and I were discussing, the swing state independents now are going to swing more to Romney based on this, I believe. Well, to the extent that this is still an issue in October and November, Bill, I mean, it is early May. Uh, and, and I think it's an election fundamentally about the economy, although I would agree with you to this extent. There are going to be 130 to 140 million Americans who are going to vote in November. Yes, the vast majority will vote based on economics, but there will be millions who will center their vote around social issues, whether it's abortion, gay marriage, uh, guns, Second Amendment, and that's their right as Americans. Okay, but, so but here, to that extent, you know, but here North is Carolina, the, look, I had North Carolina leaning to, to Romney before. I know you did, uh, but now it's no longer leaning. It's no longer leaning. It's not even going to be close in there, and it's not even going to be close. And I think Florida and Ohio, Ohio just got a PPP poll. Uh, that's a Democratic poll, Ms. O'Mara, mm -hmm. just came in, all right? Do you support gay marriage? Opposed to gay marriage, 62, support 35. 62 to 35 in Ohio on a Democratic poll. This got to hurt them there. Now, I... I, you're absolutely right. This is a controversial issue, and some swing states lean toward oppose. I think in this case, though, oh, you're going to have a lot of voters who are not going to make up their mind based on this issue. They are in the mushy middle. Okay. They don't feel strongly. We all know that, there are, that the economy is going to drive it. And more young but, voters turning wait in. Wait a minute, but you two guys aren't answering the questions in the no-spin manner that I'm used to. You all know <laughs> it's going to be razor thin. You all know it's going to be in places like Ohio and Virginia this much. Well, don't you think that this will motivate younger voters who may drop off in terms of turnout? Now they may Do be I think gay marriage? is going to motivate younger voters? Well, I do. No, I don't. I do. I think it's quite possible that this will encourage younger voters who are hard to He's turn out. He's going to get most of the home. younger voters anyway. Right, and, but the and, folks who might stay home. You know, I just don't see uh, somebody at 22 years old going, you know, I was going to stay home, but because gay marriage, I'm going to go there. Do you see that, uh, doctor? You know, I, Bill, I have to disagree with you. I'm, I'm at a college campus, and, and I'm telling you that is one of the issues that is generational, and it does motivate right, a lot I'm of Let's say I'm wrong, which would be shocking, of course, to everyone. African-American <laughs> vote. African-American vote. Conservative Hispanics. So it washes out. He's going to lose some African-American votes by this, no? Disagreeing on this issue does not mean you'll necessarily vote against Obama. And I think that it, Obama has a lot to offer a variety of different communities, a huge contrast with Romney. Romney is running behind McCain among Latinos. I don't think gay marriage is going to make up that ground. All right. So you think this was a wise political move for uh, Barack Obama? Well, I, I agree with his position, and uh, you no, know. No, but political move. Why? I don't think he did this based on politics. No, I think that, he. That could be true. I, I mean, I wise think doctor, wise political move. No, uh, as a political move, no. I would, if I were advising him politically, I would have said continue to be mushy and on both sides until after November sixth, and then you can say what everybody expected you to say all along anyway. All right, doctor. We appreciate you guys. Good debate. Next on the rundown, federal.